everyone, so I'm back today with a little haul video and I went away for a week, I went back home for a quick um, week and I did a little bit of shopping while I was there because who can resist airport shopping, it is my absolute weakness. But I'm going to start with my beauty um, bits that I picked up, there's quite a few and then I've got a couple of fashion bits and that type of thing as well but I'll start off with the beauty bits. The first thing I got was this thing by Rimmel and I actually picked this up on the airport in the airport on the way out because I've been looking looking for this shade for a really long time and for some reason it was always sold out and this is the Scandalize eyeshadow paint in rich russet which is this kind of like bronzy brown color I'm actually wearing it on my lids today and it comes with just this kind of like um, lip gloss type applicator and it's a kind of cream texture it sounds very weird the color doesn't look anything amazing but it's one of those products that since I've had it I've worn it every single day because it's so easy and the shades really pretty it blends beautifully it does set very very quickly which is good because it means that it doesn't um, it doesn't kind of crease but you do have to kind of blend it quite quickly but I'm wearing it now and I really really like this I wish they had nicer shades in this range because I want some drugstore brands to bring out a great kind of like matte skin type of shade that's in a cream formula like one of the Maybelline colour tattoos or something like this in a matte kind of nude shade will be amazing and I want someone to bring one of these out already. Then another thing I'm wearing right now is on my lips. I picked up one of the Rimmel Apocalypse because every time I go in the store I swatch them, I look at them and I'm never quite sure and I thought I'm just going to buy one and see what I think. So I picked this one up, this is in the shade Celestial, which is this kind of pretty pink colour. I'm wearing it on my lips right now, like I said. Nice kind of standard applicator. I do quite like these, they don't last that well and they're kind of like a hybrid lipstick, kind of not too glossy but they last a fair amount of time for what they are. They don't move around on me which I know a lot of people complain about and I really like the shade. I might go back and pick up another shade. I like the look of the kind of peachy shade, I think it was called Luna but I do like this. And then last but not least was another lipstick from Rimmel that I've been looking for for ages and is always sold out in my local Boots and Superdrug and this is one of the Kate Moss lipsticks and this is in the shade 08. And it just is this kind of like natural pretty pink shade. It looks kind of brownier toned than it actually is. I'll swatch it here for you and you'll be able to see. It's a kind of nice deep pink, really flattering shade on me and a kind of nice everyday colour. Like I needed more lip products in my life but I couldn't resist. And then in Duty Free I made a cheeky MAC purchase because like I said I <laughs> can't resist airport um, shopping and I bought a blush, I bought the blush in Peaches which is one of their sheer tone blushes but it's not that sheer and it's really really beautiful I can't wait to start using this in kind of spring and summer it gives you that kind of peachy very beautiful look and I love the look of this I'm really glad I got this and I'm really into blusher at the moment it's kind of my blushes and lip products are my things of the moment I'm just really into using them and then I also picked up a mascara that I haven't got to show you I think I've left that upstairs but I bought the Maybelline one by one mascara I've used it once I'm not quite sure what I feel about it yet but I nearly dropped something but um there I picked that as well and then I've also picked up a bunch of Essie nail polishes because I only ever buy them in the airport because they're that much cheaper so in the um duty free they're nine dollars which is perfectly reasonable as opposed to the like eight pounds that we pay which just is overpriced and they are always on kind of three for two and that kind of thing so I kind of picked up five five yeah so the first one I picked was the one I'm wearing right now and this is Lovey Dovey which is this kind of beautiful kind of shocking sort of Pepto pink type of colour, really really pretty and I love Essie Nail Polish because they're my favourite. Then I also picked up this kind of dark shade, it's like a kind of dark navy but with a slight hint of purple, it's very pretty and this is called No More Film and it's a really unusual shade, I can't wait to wear this. Then I also picked up a kind of nice nude shade because I haven't got that type of shade from Essie and I picked Sugar Daddy which I think has just got the cutest name ever. Let me know what kind of um, nude shades from the Essie range you like, that kind of like clean pretty nail shade um, because I've been quite into that lately. Then I also picked up Peach Daiquiri which looking at now is very very similar to what I've already got called Cute as a Button but nice summer shade. <laughs> And then last but not least I picked up this purple one which is called Splash of Grenadine and it's just kind of like 
a warm purple shade, which uh, is kind of, it's nice for spring, I suppose, but I love Essie nail polishes, and I'm glad that I've bought all of these, and I might do an Essie collection soon, because I've accumulated quite a few. But I'm now going to move on and show you the kind of fashion and I've jewelry been really items. quite into jewellery lately, and especially kind of very pretty, delicate jewellery. It's just been what I've gra been gravitating towards, and I've been wearing it most days. And I saw this bracelet in just a kind of local store, and I had to pick it up, because I thought it was really beautiful. If I can find the store online, I will link it down below but as I said I was bored so I probably won't be able to find it for you but it's just this lovely little gold bracelet it's gold plated and it just says love on it it looks like this I'll kind of show you what it would look like on so kind of put it like that so that's what it looks like on it's really really pretty and delicate and I don't know why I just fell in love with it people were sort of like oh it's just you know it's just a bracelet but I don't know, I think it's really pretty and cute. And then I also picked up this necklace, which is just a kind of pretty, um, delicate kind of gold chain. Again, like I said, I've been after something like this for a while now, and I'm really glad I found it. And I just bought this little anchor necklace, which again is gold plated. I put an extension thingy on it because I don't like them to be super short. But it's just this kind of very pretty little anchor and I thought it'd be really nice for summer. If you're just wearing like a plain t-shirt and like a white blazer or something and just something like this I think will be very pretty and a little bit different. Then I picked up this dress which I am obsessed with and I've already worn. <laughs> but this is from Zara and it was in the sale and it's just this beautiful kind of 1950s style bodycon dress. Now the sizing of these is very weird. I got it in a size small because I just felt like it, the medium didn't sit very nicely on me, but it's kind of just under the knee and very, very fitted, very flattering um, neckline. The straps are very flattering because they kind of go outwards and it just looks amazing on. It's a type of dress that if you've got a similar figure to mine, looks really, really good on. So love that. Can't wait to wear that kind of for dinner out or something soon. And then I also picked up this dress in the sale, which again was a weird size, because normally I find Zara's sizing to be very small. This was very, um, to be very kind of, you know, on the small side. I bought this in an extra small and it fits perfectly, so I'm not sure what's up with that, but it might just be kind of the shape. But it's this kind of floral print, again, kind of 1950s inspired, I'm just really into that at the moment. I think it's because it's getting warmer and I want to start kind of wearing like prints and color and just, I don't know. I'm getting excited about it being spring, basically, because I'm pathetic. But it's just this very pretty kind of print, standard neckline, cute little shoulders, which I need to lose a little bit of weight for because my arms do not look good in sleeveless things at the moment. But the back of this is kind of low cut as well, which is quite nice, and it's just got a nice flowy skirt, and looks very, very pretty and summery on. And then I also picked up a jumper. This was from American Eagle. I love that store. I love everything they have in it. And it was just this kind of pink jumper. Again, it's got kind of like a exposed back. Nice kind of different style knitwear on the sleeves. And I just think it's really cute. And especially in the UK when even our spring isn't that warm, even though it kind of hasn't been very cold lately. But it's nice to just wear colour, but you're still warm and you feel a bit more spring-like. So I am going to wear this soon because I think it's really cute. And then I also picked up an impulse purchase in Zara because I just picked up this scarf. And it's a very weird scarf and I'm not quite sure what I was thinking buying it, but... It was very inexpensive, so I suppose it doesn't really matter. But it's this huge, and I mean huge, it's like the size of a snake scarf that I kind of thought, oh, it'll be nice in winter and I can, you know, it'll keep me warm, but I don't know how much I am going to actually wear it. I need to find a way of kind of making it look good. I don't know, does it look good like that? I thought the pattern was quite nice and you can kind of roll it out and you could wear it with that pattern as well. I thought it was quite chic and pretty and I like scarves. So that is everything I picked up. I know it wasn't a huge haul, but I've been doing lots of little and often hauls lately. And I don't think my bank account's gonna thank me very much for that. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you picked up any great bargains recently, then let me know. I know Boots is still doing their three for two offer and I'm gonna go on the weekend and pick up a few more things that I want um, while the offer's on. <laughs> so I hope you all have a fantastic day. Don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and let me know in the comments below what you have been buying recently and if you're excited for the arrival of spring. So I hope you'll have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.